President Trump is already flexing his pardon power on his way out of office, but lots of questions remain about who he can pardon and under what circumstances. For perspective, here's our constitutional law expert, Cooley Law Professor Devin Schindler. It is reporting out there that the president is considering a self-pardon. Can a president actually pardon himself? It's an unknown question right now, but the weight of authority is that the president cannot do this. Think about what the president's power here. He has the power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States. Think about the word grant. We grant something to somebody else. We don't grant ourselves things. Think about the word pardon. I beg your pardon. It suggests a two-person transaction. So just the plain language of the, the, that particular section of the Constitution, Article 2, suggests no, that a president cannot self-pardon. And finally, at the core is the notion that underlies our whole system that a person should not be a judge in their own case. But let me be clear, the Supreme Court has never ruled on that issue. Other outlets say President Trump is considering preemptive pardons for his children. Can a president do that, preemptively pardon someone who hasn't been charged with a crime? Yes, and of course, West Michigan has a view on this because Gerald Ford did exactly that with President Nixon. President Nixon had not been indicted for any crimes when he resigned. President Ford, in an effort to heal the country, preemptively, before any charges were filed, gave him a very, very broad pardon. Andrew Johnson did the same thing uh, following the Civil War to a number of Civil War uh, Confederate veterans. Preemptively pardon them all. No question on this one. The president can preemptively pardon folks, uh, even if crimes have not been yet indicted. The Department of Justice is reportedly investigating if someone may have funneled money to the White House in exchange for a presidential pardon. Can a president issue a pardon in exchange for money or anything else of value? Uh, unknown, but a pardon can only be issued for past acts. You can't pardon somebody for future acts. So if there is, in fact, a quid pro quo bribery, well, when was the money delivered? If the money was delivered after the pardon, well, that's an ongoing conspiracy. So the pardon would not be effective in that case. There's also a strand of thought in my world that in fact, that is a separate crime which is essentially committed after the pardon or tied to the pardon and therefore is not pardonable. That the Supreme Court would ultimately rule you cannot issue a pardon that was brought about because of flat out bribery.